Well, it's about time I look at a video that I was supposed to look at since the fourth episode of the season. You like D&D, Audrey Hepburn, Fangoria, Harry Houdini, and Croquet. You can't swim, you can't dance, and you don't know karate. Face it. You've made an identity for yourself, so that makes you different. Therefore, you're a social outcast. You're never gonna make it. Because you're in your 20s and still in high school, I doubt you're gonna make it far in life. Oh my god. This is the third music video I'm looking at this season where it takes place in high school. Does college not exist anywhere here? Can we just put the young adult in college and it would make sense? Here's an old emo joke for you. How many emos does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. They break the light bulb, slash their wrists with the broken pieces, and cry in the dark. I was an emo kid. If you've ever felt rejected, anxious, or confused, then congratulations, you're in Trump's America. Thankfully, he has the same teacher as Soldier Boy, so all he has to do is tell the teacher to throw some bees on it. Here we see Donald Trump prepare for his weekly address. No, don't drink that poison yet. You have to sell it as Coke Light. Alright, well, it looks like I wasn't told about everything about the birds and the bees. How come every time I try to do this, I always get the same stupid responses? Oh my god, put that away, get out of here, this is the women's washroom. What's the difference between an emo and a woman on her period? What cries when they bleed and they have to ask for attention for the tiniest of things, and the other is a woman on her period? He didn't mean to scare her. He's been in that locker for three straight days and he's just really relieved that he's getting some fresh air. Alright, so Conrad Black was taking lies way before he got to the King of Pop. Either that or this guy's the reason why that drug dealer was drug dealer of the month for several months. You better hurry up and get a refill of those medications, otherwise you'll skip lunch. Huh. So why did Sarah break up with you? And unrelated question, are you doing anything this weekend? You know, you have something in your eye. Got it. Well, I got 1% of your flaws out, but uh, I couldn't get the other 99%. But I suppose everybody has to live with the face. I understand that the Super Bowl didn't go the way that you wanted it to, but I think you're going a little far with this. Alright, it's the big fight between the jerks and the emos. The winner of this fight gets the face up against the winner between the speaker boxes versus the love belows in the auditorium. Why would you fight as my chemical romance when fighting as the Black Parade will get you better numbers? And I would ask where your drug dealer is, but he's busy with the love below. And then six seconds into the fight, there was a big, delicious orgy on the floor. That was the worst episode of Honest Trailers I have ever seen. Yeah, it's fine. It does what it needs to do, and it succeeds. A movie trailer and a music video, and it's funny. Feels like I should have had more to say. Hmm. What do you get when you get a bunch of aging emos who are way too long in the tooth and who have had nothing to do or say for the past decade? You get good Charlotte.